Commissioner, the Fani Masimula. Now, the Transport Minister, Cindy Siwe Chikunga, has been visiting the scene of yesterday's horrific multiple vehicle crash in KwaZulu Natal. The accident on the N3 south and northbound in Peter Marisbeck has claimed eight and six lives now. Senior reporter Dustin Tata is at the scene and is joining us now. Uh, good afternoon again, Dustin. A little earlier, we saw you and other media journalists there speaking to the Transport Minister. What kind? What kind? Right. Brother, I'm sorry, I was just listening to what the traffic police were advising us just to move away slightly. Please uh, forgive us for the, for, for the unstable shot. We're just going to move across to the side of the road. We are on the N3, and I think the road will be open shortly, so they've just advised us to move off to the side of the road. But you're 100% correct, Sindhisi Wichikunga, just leaving now. She did brief us uh, about what they have found out so far in relation to this tragic accident yesterday. She was with officials from the RTI, uh, others from Sandral. She was also with uh, the SAPS. Remember, this is still an accident that is under investigation. So there wasn't a lot of detail that they were able to share just yet. Even the MEC for Transport in the province coming in and saying that uh, they also did not want to talk too much about the families that were injured and the families, uh, particularly those three family members that passed away as well because they're afraid that some people may not have received the message yet because it's still quite early. But that's the confirmation, as we had mentioned earlier, that three people from one family had passed away in a vehicle and there were three others. You know, when we were talking to, to paramedics uh, yesterday, they were saying to us that there were people that were also trapped under their vehicles during this time. And interestingly, if you look at this road, this was something else that we discussed, the condition of the road. The transport minister saying that this is one of the better stretches of road on the N3. And ironically, it's on those stretches of road that are in a supposedly better condition that you find accidents taking place more often because it would seem that motorists sometimes believe that it's there that they are able to drive at speed. So she was um, at pains to stress that she, she was making some of these comments in a, in a very generalized form because they were still investigating this particular incident. And she also mentioned that at this point, she doesn't want to give any indication that trucks were in any way responsible for what happened here because there seems to be a perception, particularly around this area, that when there are accidents, that it is the heavy vehicles that are at the center of it all. Yeah, very tragic instances there. And of course, there's a role that the human, human factor plays in, in all of this. If what you are saying, Dustin, uh, is to be considered, that that stretch of road is so beautifully built, it's smooth, and uh, we believe we can speed there. That's exactly it. And she touched on that as well, saying that there is this massive problem with what she called the, the human factor. And that's the, the human error that takes place when people are driving. And that's a, a train of thought that is shared by others. I was commenting to the minister earlier that I was reading a tweet from Leighton Beard earlier today. He was just talking about this and he was saying, uh, he's with the AA, and he was saying that, uh, you know, there needs to be more that's done to correct this type of driver behavior because ultimately, we know that we see every festive season during the Easter period that law enforcement officials are brought out in their numbers, they're stationed at different points. And while all of that is extremely helpful, at the same time, that can't be the only thing that we are doing to expect that those officers, and we know in many cases we have an understaffing of police officers and traffic officers, that that's going to be enough to stop this. Ultimately, when people are traveling on these long stretches of road, they are traveling alone. And it's really only their conscience that's guiding them. But the additional factor here, Braden, is the weather. In fact, as I'm talking to you, the weather is actually turning now. It was sunny earlier when we spoke. And yesterday, we, we, we know that it was extremely misty here. The uh, tow truck driver we spoke to earlier was saying that the tree the leaves from the tree had fallen onto the ground. It was wet. So even that was possibly a contributing factor. It really wasn't an ideal situation for motorists to be faced with as they were leaving Durban and heading back to their homes, possibly in Johannesburg and elsewhere after that long weekend. Yeah, maybe 
I don't think we have it on any of the highways because they're supposed to be freeways. But on certain stretches like that one in Peter Marisbeck, doesn't maybe the um, Sandral who ran that toll, toll road should consider speed bumps in that area because we are not behaving. We keep on speeding regardless of the weather because when there's a mist, you're supposed to slow down even further. That's correct. They, they, it seems that uh, additional measures need to be taken. And, you know, I mentioned to the minister earlier that we've reported on so many accidents on this particular stretch of road. And officials here were once again at pains to tell us that it's not the road. You know, it's really just driver behavior. But I can tell you that we've reported on a number of accidents that have taken place around here, again, in what is supposedly one of the, the better roads. So surely something needs to change. There needs to be uh, additional either uh, permanent deployment of police officers or as you mentioned other measures such as speed humps in certain places but what I can tell you is that this seems to be a perpetual cycle we often have this conversation after all of these accidents just yesterday there was um, a roadblock that was held you know uh, there was a government delegation that was at Moy River and they were talking about what was a fairly peaceful weekend but somehow this is how it ended and it had to end in this way with six people losing their lives and over 70 people that were injured as, as a result of that crash yeah it's very clear we need very drastic measures on our roads to stop this perpetual cycle of uh, the crashes and the deaths thank you very much Justin Tatia on the entry highway near Peter Marsbeck the scene of yesterday's horrific pileup involving dozens of vehicles trucks minibus taxis and normal sedans that's your normal passenger vehicle six people have now died